What's up YouTubers, Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to refill and recharge your Toyota or your Lexus cars AC refrigerant. If you guys are new to my channel, do me a favor, click the subscribe and the notification bell so you can get all my new videos. Let's get to this one. Okay, so we're going to be doing this on a Toyota Tundra, but it's going to be the same thing for a Tacoma, 4Runner, Corolla, Camry, Sequoia, Sienna, any Lexus or Toyota. Okay, so you want to purchase some of this R134A and make sure the one you purchase comes with this hose and gauge. This will allow you to fill it up as well as read the pressure so we don't underfill or overfill our system. Just put the gauge on top, screw the can on, make sure you screw it in all the way and that'll pierce the self-piercing can. And then we're going to look underneath our hood and we're going to find the refrigerant lines. Right here, the skinnier line, that's the high side. It'll be denoted with either a red cap or a cap with an H on it. You're going to look for the thicker one. Here it is on this car right back here. It, this will be the low side and it'll be a thicker pipe and the cap will be blue or it'll have an L on it for low. Take the cap off and then on the end of the hose right here you just pull the tab on the nozzle and actually don't worry about getting this confused putting it on the high side because this will actually only fit on the low side port. So with the engine off we'll slip this over the low side port and once you get it on it'll lock in. You just give it a little tug and you'll know it's locked in. Now I do want to mention that when you hook this up and this is really reading empty when the car is running. So either you could have one of two leaks. One really fast leak, you don't want to even bother trying to refill if you have a fast leak. Or a really slow leak, maybe over time, over years. If the car is completely empty, you're going to want to vacuum all the air out of the system. I have a separate video on how to do that. I'll put a link here and also down in the description. But what vacuuming out the air of the system does is it allows the refrigerant to only take up that space inside the system. But when there's air in the system, it can't be compressed. You can do it without vacuuming, but it probably is not going to cool as cool as it should be. And we're going to come inside the car and we're going to start it up. And then we're going to turn our fan on full blast on the coldest setting and the air conditioner. Then you're going to want to get one of these little button thermometers, but we'll put it in the center vent and we'll get a reading. Air's not even blowing cold. So we're just going to start adding a little bit at a time. the gauge when you let off the trigger. Our compressor on our air conditioner is not going to kick on until it gets to a certain amount of pressure if it's that low. We want to get it to the green. If you look under the hood for a sticker it'll tell you how much refrigerant your car takes. This car takes 1.2 to 1.4 pounds max and this can is 18 ounces. So it's going to take the whole can if it's completely empty. Looks like we're down to about 67 now. Still need to get it down lower. If you get it anywhere in the green, that's good, but, but the temperature gauge is really what's going to tell us. Look, we're down into the 50s now. Just keep emptying the can out until the can gets warm. Then you'll know it's empty. But you don't want to fill this past the green into the red or the yellow. You don't want to overfill refrigerant. It's just as bad, if not worse, to overfill. Okay, I just finished the can and the air is nice and cold. It's just about 50 degrees. An ideal temperature, if it's not too hot outside, you should be able to get it between 35 and 45. All right, this can is warm and it is empty. I'm going to try and get a little more refrigerant in it. We'll unscrew this one. See if we can't get it a little colder. All right, that's good. I don't want to overfill the system. We're running just a little under 50 and it'll get colder when you're driving and not just idling. So we'll go ahead and shut it down. And then we can disconnect it by just pulling up the tab. Then we're going to take our little dust cap. Make sure you screw that back on. That'll keep any dirt and debris from getting in that fitting. Alright guys, and that's how to recharge your Toyota or your Lexus's air conditioner. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you can get my new videos. Thanks for watching Johnny DIY. Keep on doing it yourself guys and stay cool.